Before I demonstrate how to configure the GSAT 11000 become a wireless access point as well as the MX network. Let's look at scenario that I have. This scenario, you will notice there is a two units of uh, Asus GX AT11000. One, I install outside the firewall and connect to internet. This Asus Air GX AT11000, it acts as a Wi-Fi router outside the firewall. Another unit, Asus GX11000, which I would like to install behind the firewall inside my LAN. And this uh, GS8011 were configured as a primary wireless access point. I also have a two unit of uh, Asus LTAC67U, which sometimes people call it AC1900, were configured as secondary Wi-Fi access point and also part of the MX node. This unit of GX8011 will become a primary wireless access point. The outer of the circle in a black color is represent my LAN. The inner circle in red color is represent my MX network. Now let us go to configure the GX8011 once the Asus GTX 11000 boot up, you can open the browser and type router.assess.com. Press enter. And we come to this screen. Go and click advanced setting. Choose operation mode. And select access point mode. In my scenario, I need to assign the manual IP. I will choose manually assign. We put the IP address 192.168.10.1 with the thumbnail mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway is 192.168.10.254. In my environment, I have a DNS server inside the LAN. For better performance, I will specify the DNS server. 192.168.12.1 and my second DNS server is 192.168.12.2 and click next. My Wi Fi access point I would like to combine with one channel. I will uncheck this. So now the setup will allow me to key in one SSID. So I will key in. The SSID which I like to have it, you can specify any SSID you like to have it. Key in the password for the Wi Fi. If you are decided to separate two channels at this point, you can check this box. Otherwise, it will be a one channel. I click apply. So, this is the option for you to enable Wi Fi 6. Uh, I would re recommend that you enable it because. Today, a lot of smart devices like handphone or laptop were able to support Wi-Fi 6. So click next. Next. This screen will allow you to change your router login name. In this case, I still remain admin and I would like to specify the password. next and the router will be rebooted it means that your initial setup have been done after the initial setup so the router will be automatically reboot so you may able to connect in this case is a I configure the SSID is unit dash Wi-Fi you can connect it once you connect it and go back to the configuration you can type 192.168. 10.1. This is the IP address that during the initial setup, I assigned the IP address for this Wi-Fi access point. Press enter. So it will come to this screen and type admin. 
login ID and the password. After you successfully log in, it will come to this screen. The top most important thing you need to do is administration and update the firmware. You can choose firmware upgrade and create the chat. This option will allow the router and go and check the latest firmware upgrade. If there is a latest firmware available, it will show you firmware upgrade. Click this. Let the firmware download and upgrade it. Now the firmware is downloaded and doing the upgrade until it finish. So now the firmware upgrading is almost completed. Once the firmware upgrade is completed, the router will be rebooted and you need to re-log in again. So due to the reason, I will not check the wireless because it will show the wireless password. So let's go to LAN. So you will notice that there is the IP address that are assigned. This Wi-Fi access point will be installed in the inside the LAN, become the access point. And uh, my network infrastructure for Wi-Fi network will be starting with the network 192.168.10 and I do not have the DHCP configure in this access point because the reason is in the back end I have a DHCP server this build the IP for the network 192.168.10 the DNS server is the internal DNS server starting uh, with the IP address 192.168.12.1 Another DNS server is 192.168.12.2. These two DNS servers is important so that when you connect this Wi-Fi, it will allow you to access the internal resources like printers, servers, etc. etc. So that's all for a wireless access point. If you want to install this Asus GTS 11000 become a wireless access point inside your LAN. The next video, what I will do is to configure the Asus RT AC67U as a secondary Wi-Fi access point and configure as part of the MX network.